Sergeant Polay, please start the computer recording. <clears throat> recording to the computer, all set. Recording to the cloud, all set. And backup recording is running. Good afternoon. Welcome to the New York City Council's remote committee hearing on parks and recreation. Everyone, please turn on your video at this time. Silence all electronic devices. Chairman Ku, we are ready to start. Good afternoon. I'm Peter Ku, Chair of the City Council's Committee on Parks and Recreation. We are joined by the following council members, council member Gennaro, council member Moya, council member Brooks Powers, council member Borelli, council member, council member John Lai, council member Holden, council member Wiley, council member uh, Darman Diaz, council member Rodriguez, council member Traeger. Today we will vote on two pieces of legislation. The first is proposed introduction, uh, introduction uh, number 1888-A, a proposal by my colleague, council member Mark Traeger. This bill will ban commercial and privately owned vehicles from operating on the city's boardwalks. It will allow an exemption for certain types of city owned vehicles needed for maintenance work and upkeep, as well as for emergency vehicles. We first considered this bill at the past committee hearing on April 12, where all who testified spoke in favor of this bill. The second bill is proposed intro number 1959-A, sponsored by my colleague, council member Idanis Rodriguez. This bill will create a mayoral office of sports, wellness, and recreation, along with an advisory board, which would be responsible for promoting and enhancing athletic and recreational opportunities, primarily for our city's disadvantaged youth. We first considered this bill at a past committee hearing on February 22nd where again, all who testify spoke in favor of, the, of this legislation. I'm proud to support both of these bills and I urge all my colleagues on this committee to vote in favor of these pieces of legislation. I want to thank both council member Traeger and council member Rodriguez for introducing these bills. And I would like to invite Council Member Traeger, followed by Council Member Rodriguez, to offer any remarks on the bills. Following their comments, I would like to call on the clerk to call the roll. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Chair Ku, for your partnership, for your leadership, and your staff, the committee staff, and to all the members of the Parks Committee. Truly appreciate your time. Um, and, and your help. Uh, thank you for scheduling this vote on my legislation, 1888A, prohibiting vehicles on boardwalks. Um, I have the honor of representing the 47th district in Brooklyn, which includes the iconic Regal Min boardwalk in Coney Island and Brighton Beach. Coney Island uh, just had its opening day uh, early this month. We welcome everyone to come visit Coney Island. Um, and that is a step towards rebuilding for our whole city after the devastating impacts of this pandemic. As many of you remember, my community and I, and I fought tirelessly to ensure that the boardwalk in Coney Island was landmarked as a way to honor it and that it finally it did happen finally in 2018. It was a joyous time because New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission recognized the need to preserve and protect this beloved structure, as well as this integral piece of Southern Brooklyn's rich history uh, culture and tradition. The boardwalk continues to be an iconic symbol of our city, and it's also a vital part, a connective tissue here in Southern Brooklyn and in, in, in our neighborhood. Uh, the boardwalk is a place for our children, seniors, and families to gather to enjoy each other's company 
It's where New Yorkers and tourists alike leisurely stroll to relax and enjoy breathtaking ocean views. It's a, it's a place for runners and, and folks and, uh, who uh, practice fitness. It's a place to enjoy nature and relax. And my bill that everyone that enjoys the boardwalk will also feel safe. Uh, my bill would prohibit all non-city motor vehicles from being used on city elevated boardwalks and require that authorized city employees use vehicles under 2,400 pounds, which to give you context, that would be the size of, of a Gator, which the NYPD does use and other, other agencies. So, so that could still be used, but just not those big trucks for any work related activities on such boardwalks. And there is an exception for emergency services, just so we're clear. Uh, this is important because heavy vehicles uh, have had a tremendously uh, negative impact on the boardwalk um, and has led to wear and tear for many, many years. And quite frankly, it makes people not safe. Uh, the boardwalk is truly a treasure and it's important that pedestrians feel safe at all times and that the boardwalk is properly maintained. My bill will help preserve this iconic landmark structure. I urge my colleagues to please vote yes on this important bill to our community and, and to New York City. And again, welcome everyone to Coney Island now, and of course, dur during a wonderful season. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you. Councilmember Rodriguez? Yes. Uh, first of all, thank you, Chair, for, for your support. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank also Speaker Corey Johnson, Brooklyn Board President, Eric Adams, Mayor Billy Blasio for the leadership and the collaboration working with me and my colleagues to get this bill passed. I also want to thank Manhattan Board President and also Public Advocate Giovanni Williams and all the advocates who work with me to uh, make this bill happen. I'm proud to be the main sponsor for Intro 1959 along with Brooklyn Board President Eric Adams, the Mayor's Office of Sport, Wellness and Recreation. The bill will help the city centralize the role they currently, currently play in a sport with the DOE, DYCD, and the Park Department. Our goal is to increase the number of youth that are connected with competitive sport opportunity. The Office of Sport, Wellness and, Recre and Recreation will also create opportunities for sports institutions uh, like the Yankee Stadium, the Met, the Barclay Center, to be an integral part of this initiative. We need to make New York City a hub where a student who have the talent and who are ready to put in the hard work are also given the same opportunities and investment that other students in Walter's community receive. We must give the students in low income in the third community the resources and the opportunity they need to reach their full potential. The Mayor's Office of Sports, Wellness and Recreation will be responsible for creating a strategies and initiative that will help the city to become the major sport competitor across the country and the world. These strategies and initiatives will create a pipeline for all youth in New York City to be placed in the competitive sport program and competition. This is about equity. Everyone saw the disparity that were brought to light because of the coronavirus. Many in the third community suffer from higher rates of asthma, heart disease, and obesity. These communities became the most vulnerable because they lack many of the resources and opportunity that are available to other neighborhoods. Sports is one area where we must balance the playing field. We need to connect the youth with quality sports opportunity and recreation centers. We know that when students are connected with the, high, with the right resources to continue their athletic careers, their skills can also open doors for them to go to college, get a scholarship uh, in, in many areas. Hoy nosotros estamos aquí apoyando el proyecto de ley que creará la oficina de deporte de la ciudad de Nueva York, junto con el presidente del condado, Eric Adams, el speaker, Corey Johnson, defensor del pueblo, Giovanni Williams, la presidenta del condado, condado Manhattan, Gerd Brewer, y el, el presidente del comité, el concejal Kurt, 
y todas las instituciones que promueven el deporte en la ciudad de Nueva York. With that, I ask my colleagues to vote yes on this bill. Thank you, Councilmember Rodriguez. We are also joined. We are also joined by Councilmember Levine, uh, Councilmember Van Bremer, and Councilmember Bannon. Uh, would the clerk please call the vote? Oh, good afternoon, everyone. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on parks and recreation. Introductions 1888A and 1959A. The items are coupled. Chair Ku. I will aye. Van Bramer. I vote aye. Thank you. Levine. I vote aye. Thank you. Brannon. Aye. Jonai. I vote aye. Holden. I vote aye. Moya. I vote aye. Dharma Diaz. I vote aye. Riley. I vote aye. Gennaro. I vote yes, and I'm, uh, I have uh, added my name as a co-sponsor to both good bills, and I uh, congratulate the sponsors of these good bills. Thank you. Thank you. Brooks Powers. I vote aye. Thank you. Borelli. Council member Borelli. Okay, we'll come back. Alabama, By a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention, both items have been adopted by the committee. Mr. Martin. Yes. Uh, I would like to keep the vote open for another 10 minutes. Absolutely. Some members uh, might be uh, a little bit late because of the transportation problem. Absolutely, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.
Mr. Member Ulrich, welcome. Hi, thank you. I apologize. I was driving and I just had to pull over uh, so that I'm not putting myself or anybody else in danger. But um, did they call the roll call yet on the uh, bill? Yes, no worries. On, uh, proposed introductions 1888A and 1959A. Your vote, counts. I vote aye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Vote is now currently 12 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. And the, hold, uh, the vote is still remains open by request of the chair.
time here. Welcome, Councilor Rivera. Rivera. Uh, uh. Committee on Party on Party Recreation. Roll call vote introductions 1888A and 1959A. Your vote, Council Member Rivera. Aye. Thank you. Vote now stands at 13 in the affirmative, is zero in the negative, and one, uh, excuse me, 13 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you very much. So the meeting is adjourned. Uh -huh. Excuse me, Council Member uh, Ku. We yeah. still have Council Member Borelli on. He's having some issues. We're trying to get him uh, to resolve his audio issues. Could you just please give us sure. another minute so we can get him to vote? Sure, of course, yeah. Thank you, sir. Councilmember Early. I vote I and all apologies for uh, having a family issue. No problem. Thank you, sir. Final vote in committee on parks and recreation. Proposed introductions 1888A and 1959A. Both items are adopted by a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Thank you all.
Thank you very much. Yeah, the meeting is adjourned.